Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we have a little pom-pom sticker kit from Pop Easter. I bought this at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts after Easter. They had a whole bunch of Easter stuff on clearance and it was really cheap. So, <laughs> cheap. <laughs> I made a joke like, like a little, little chick. Cheap. Never mind. It was $4.99. I think I only paid about a dollar for this. But I thought this would be fun to do. I thought we could do it together. I haven't really looked at it. But it looks like you can make this creepy little thing here with this face. I think it's supposed to be like a flower that's been anthropomorphized. It's made to look like a person or something and it's blushing. Why would a, what do you think would make a flower blush? Is this a flower? I'm kind of thinking it's a flower. I got these little leaves here and a little stem. Or it could be something else. I don't know. <laughs> Shut up, Mary. We have these pom-poms in different colors, although up here we have these that look like cheese balls, but they're they're orange, but they're not the same color as this. This is more of like a peachy color, and then you have these two that are pink, and then you have the eyes and the mouth. <laughs> I'm overthinking this. So it's for ages six and up, so I qualify. Now it does say that it is a choking hazard. It has small parts. Not for children under three years. It says it's for six and up. What about those who are four or five? I guess they're kind of in limbo, like they're in the purgatory of the craft and activity realm. So you cannot snack on this while you work. If you get hungry, you can't eat these little pom-poms. Even if you have some left over, no, don't eat them because you could choke on them. And that would bring your activity to a devastating close. Let's turn it over and look. It says it should, it's going to make one weird little thing. And it's going to take about 20 minutes. Well, I can talk a lot longer than that. What do we need for this? Now, up here it tells you the supplies that are needed. And they show a little bottle of glue. Like anybody ever actually buys this stuff anymore. All they look like all the schools, they use the glue sticks. And it has a little asterisk and it says... If a more secure result is desired, you can supplement with your own glue. What do we get with this cute little kit? We get one double-sided sticker template. This here, you can see how big it's going to be. It's going to be like that. You get one foam glitter sticker sheet. 72 pom-poms. And you also get instructions, which are included on the reverse of the packaging. You can kind of see it back there that they show you step by step what you're going to do. So, you pull this up and it shows you this. But we're going to go ahead and remove this so we can take a better look at these instructions. Okay, so I removed this part. We have this cellophane here. It was quite violent because this is extremely sticky. There's this glue and it's right here too. And it was stuck fast to the underside of this thing. And I really, it was hard to remove it. I thought I was going to have to cut it. I thought I was going to tear the paper. But look at that. Gosh, it's like, it's like flypaper. I didn't think I was going to be able to remove it, but then I got it loose. So you have your directions here. You want to remove all of the contents from the kit and organize your pom-poms by color. So like, oh, it looks like we have two that are, I don't know. We have this big blob, slightly smaller blob, and then two balls together for our pom-poms, our foam glitter stickers, and our double-sided sticker template. So, we have our little bag here, and then we have more sticky stuff here. So here's our template. Now, there's a shininess to it because there is a, a backing, and there's a little tab on the side. You can peel it away like that. 
kind of like when you do, if you've ever done those diamond paintings, you know it has that, the plastic, and underneath that it's very sticky, and you want to keep it covered when you're not doing it so you don't get dust and stuff on the, on the adhesive. So it's kind of like that. So there's our little template, our little flower thingy. Oh, it looks like we do. So here they look just darker pink. In the picture on the front they looked orange, but here they just look like... That's, no, that's the blushes. That's the little blushes on the weird flower face. Oh, they look like they'd be really soft. They look like, what is that cereal? Tricks? The little balls? Oh my gosh. All of my cats are shedding right now, so there's cat hair just on everything. It's that time of year. Oh, it really is sparkly. Look at that. Wow. It's like a disco ball. I like it. And on the back, you can kind of see where it's punched out a little bit here and here for the eyes. And the nose as well, but it's not punched out quite as much. We can definitely get it though, but we, we're not going to need that for a little bit. You want to sort them by color, and then you want to peel the liner away from the front of the template to expose the adhesive. Place your colored pom-poms onto the coordinating dot on the front of the sticker template. Press firmly to attach pom-poms. Here's the asterisk for a more secure fit. You can also glue your pom-poms onto the template. I think we'll be okay not doing that. I like to live dangerously. And then you repeat until your template is filled in. It may be necessary to add pom-poms in the spaces between to get a fuller look. Well, we'll start out just putting them on the dots and see how that looks. And if it doesn't look full enough, we can add more. Add foam glitter stickers to reveal your finished character. And once completed, you're going to peel the liner from the back of your template to adhere to any flat surface. And I have a flat surface for it. I'll show you that when we get there. So the first thing we have to do is sort our balls. We have to manage our balls. We have a bunch of green ones. You think we'll have more green ones? I think we will. I think we have a lot of green ones. They're very squishy. <laughs> They're very soft though. They're definitely pom pom -y. <laughs> Do you remember if you were around back in the 80s, those little footy socks with the pom-poms on the back? They were bigger than this, but they came in different colors. All oh, those were so popular back then. The little ankle socks with the little pom-poms on the back. <laughs> I had some. So we put our green balls over here. Oh, we do have a lot. I like to sort things. I always have. I like to make a or order out of chaos. It just, it's just soothing to me. I, I don't like disarray. When you have kids, there's always going to be a certain degree of disarray. And I've learned to live with it, but I like my, I like my stuff to be in order. Mainly because I'm lazy and I don't like looking for stuff. I want it to be where it's supposed to be so I don't have to go looking for it. So we have our dark pink ones there. They may not look very different to you because I record on a potato, but they really are. Like if I take one of these and put it beside it, there, you can kind of see. This one's a little darker. We have blush and bashful. See, pink and pink. Actually, these are more of like a peachy color. Sort of a pale, like a pastel orange color. Alright, what do we do here? Well, we have our template. See, this part has the little polka dots on it like it's diseased. And then the back, it has a Joanne number because I did buy this at Joanne Fabrics. So does this... Yeah, this has a backing too. Oh, we're going to stick it on something special when we finish. All right. So we have a little tab right here like I showed you. That's the only one. There are no others. 
So, I guess we should start up here at the top. Let's just pull it down here, and we'll just hold it like this. And then, is it sticky? Oh yeah, it's sticky. I don't want to stick my fingers on it and mess it up. So then, what you do, you see all these little polka dots? They correspond to the color of the balls, the pom-poms. And I don't know if you can really tell, but this polka dot and this polka dot are slightly darker than the ones around them. That's going to be for these two slightly darker pom-poms. So we want to remember when we get to that point that we don't want to put these on there. We want to do the darker ones. So I'm just nestling them in there. And you can kind of squish them around a little bit. Oh, they're so fuzzy. <laughs> they're very fuzzy. <laughs> they feel like little hairballs or something. I don't know. Do you think that looks full enough? I'll keep going. Oops. Put one on that dot. One up here on that dot. They're slipping off the template. Press them down a little harder. Okay. Maybe I need to press on them a little bit more. But see, when you press on them, it kind of squishes them around and they get out of place. I'm supposed to put one right there. Right there. Oh, me. Oh, I messed up. Here, put one there. I feel like I'm not doing this right. Don't forget the darker one. It goes right there. And this other one goes here. Can you see now that they're a little bit darker? Oh, it's like a person with hair. And they have the little eyes here. <laughs> and remember too, we're going to be adding the sparkly eyes and the little nose too. Or is it a mouth? I already forgot. I think it's a mouth. No, it doesn't have a nose. Oh, how sad. A flower can't smell. The ultimate insult. I know when I had COVID, I lost my sense of smell for quite a while. And, um, I was so paranoid. <laughs> I was obsessively showering. I was always afraid that I smelled bad and wouldn't know. <laughs> I was constantly bugging my kids. They got it too, but they never lost their sense of smell. I was constantly bugging them, like, do I smell? <laughs> like, no. These actually look like little marshmallows. <laughs> they like those little fruit-flavored marshmallows. They come in these little pastel colors. It looks like a flower made out of marshmallows. Okay. I don't know that we need to add more to this. I mean, it already, to me, looks... Pretty full. I'm just kind of pressing them with my finger to make sure they're sort of attached to the template. And then we have our two little ones here that are slightly darker. So we had five of these left over. Just gonna bring this down. Let's do this leaf up here. Pull it like that, so that's going to expose this part of the stem and this little leaf right here. So then we start to introduce the green pom poms like that. Now it seems to me that these dots are further apart than the ones up here were. I kind of feel like they are. So if you just follow the dots, yeah, it may not be as full. But see, then you're going to have these here. Let's see. I don't know. I still think it looks okay. I mean, it's a little like you could take this one and move it up a little bit. Put one, like, right there. That's still kind of exposed, but... I don't know that we're going to be able to do much about it. 
I'm sort of ignoring the dots at this point because they're really far apart in my opinion because see, then you don't have another one until here and here and then you have all the space right there I'm just gonna cram one in there okay I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of the the film here So here you can see a ghostly image of our weird flower person. Look at that. It's, ooh, reflection. That's not good. Okay. So I want to be careful not to touch this part because now we have removed the protective film. We don't want to get our greasy fingerprints on there. And you always have wool on your, on your hands even if you don't think you do. There's a little bit of wool on there. So we come up this way and down. We're just doing the outline of this leaf right now. There. Oh. I'm going to ignore the dots because they are so far apart. Look at them. Look. Why do they do it that way? They want to make me rebel. They're encouraging me to do something crazy. They're enabling me. They're corrupting me what they're doing. And then we have one, two, three, four, five dots coming down the length of the stem. One there. Here. Here, there, and one more at the bottom, there, and then you see that we have this space. Now we, now we don't really have more room right here. I just realized that I have a dot, a pom-pom that's trying to escape. <laughs> it was attached up here. We have this little section of the flower right there. To get off of there. It's like they're they're crowning it off somehow. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I do I do kind of feel like maybe maybe this glue, the adhesive on the flower, is not enough to really hold these pom poms because they're sort of pushing each other. Like these up here that are close together. They kind of come together and they sort of push on one another like that and then they sort of push them off the template a little bit but then you have these little spaces I wonder what we could get I know, I just said that, but I'm pushing another one in there Maybe if I press on them for a second I think I just created more space I think I am my own worst enemy Oh, I pushed his eyeball down. <laughs> I would make a horrible plastic surgeon. There. Okay, are his eyes crooked? I feel like they're crooked now. <laughs> oh, are they too close together? I think the eyes are too close. <laughs> I think the eyes are too close together. Let me see. Oh no, they're not eyes. There is his blushes. I keep wanting to say they're eyes. Okay, so we're looking at this picture. See with this one, you don't see any white space because they I think they photoshopped it out like right here. It looks like it's just the background. It's just that purple color. They cheated. Well, there's a little bit right there. Yeah, and I guess a little sliver there, but this is purple. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. Maybe the blushes are okay. Yeah, they're not eyes. They're 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 blushes. Little blush, rosy cheeks. So I have four of these. I don't know. I feel like maybe we should cram one more in here somewhere. Maybe here. And just make sure it doesn't mess up the others and then maybe if we bring this one down a little bit 
You can get one right there. Maybe. Perhaps. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, and then we have some space here. Let's see. Maybe if we slide these want to come off the stem. If we slide that one over a little bit, we can get one right there. There. How's that? Alright. So I only had one green pom-pom left. Just the one. And we have three of these balls. You know I knew a guy that had three balls? I hope they look better than that. I don't know, I, didn't, I never actually saw them, I just heard about it. This was many years ago, I, I didn't personally witness anything, I just heard about it. It's not really a conversation that there's a good answer to. When you hear that, like, what do you say? <laughs> Congratulations, I don't know. Good for you, man. Well, I'm gonna try to make sure that these are lined up properly and they're not coming off the template. Like if I pick it up, do we lose any balls? Wow! I did- look! None of them fell off. It passed the quality check. Well, that one almost fell off, but it didn't fall off. It didn't. Okay. Now, we have our sparkly what is this again? These are eyes. I almost want to make like a little nose. That wouldn't look right. And a mouth. Well, let's see. How do you get them out of here? It's it's like foam. I have to keep looking at the picture like I don't know what a face looks like. I don't know. So it looks like it goes, the eyes go right above the little, the little rosy cheeks. Is that right? There's one. Here's another one. Gotta peel, peel the backing off. And it goes... <laughs> he looks stupid. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe they need to be closer together. The problem is the position of the pom-poms. Wonk. <laughs> Can you make his eyes look? Can you make him look angry? <laughs> Stop it. Stop. Okay. Oh, now they're cockeyed. Okay. Look at all this wasted foam glitter stuff. They could have given him a nose. I guess the nose would look weird. And then we take the little mouth here, peel it off. And that looks like it's going to go kind of between the little blushes and down a little bit. Like that. Oh, nice. So we have that left over. And everything is attached. Everything looks pretty good. I do feel like I might have to... I mean, how do you secure that? I have spray adhesive. I don't really know that that would do anything, though. I mean, I could remove them all and add some extra glue to the template. I could. I probably won't. So what do we want to attach this to? First, we have to remove all of the stuff. We have our little stickers. Our extra pom-poms. So we have our happy little flower here. And what I thought we would do is put it on this notebook. You know what this is? This is a notebook that has some of my story holiday in it. The story I've been writing is the follow-up to River Road. I would put it on the cover of this notebook. It's a Mead five star notebook. So I thought, like, put it on here, like that. So, what we have to do 
very carefully. I'm going to turn him over. And then you see the shininess on the back? That's the backing. Take my finger and just kind of do like that. Pull on it gently. Keep pulling gently. Oh, it's very sticky. These pom-poms are trying to escape. They are escaping. <laughs> I dropped it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's your first day on Earth and I'm flipping you upside down and I... One of the pom... One of the pom-poms escaped. I have to go get it. You will not believe how far this thing went. Do you remember that song? What was it? Um, on top of old Smokey, you lost the meatball when somebody sneezed and that meatball went a really long way. This was trying to be like that meatball from that song. It went way over there. I don't even know how it went way over there. Like how? On carpet did you go that far? I just, I don't know. It was weird. Okay. Now that doesn't look right. I'm pressing it onto the notebook. It's like he's waving at us. Get back up there. I have to say the adhesive on this little craft really probably needs to be a little bit stronger. And it's one of those things you're not really going to know until you get started on it that you're going to need additional adhesive for this to really work. Also, it's not wanting to stick to my notebook. Do you hear it? Like, it's not really sticking. Part of the problem is this is a flexible cover, so that may actually not work. I guess I needed, like, a solid surface. This really is not because it's, it's flexible. I didn't think that... I didn't really think that through very well. Well, anyway. For now, we're just going to say that he's fixed onto my notebook. I messed up this part somehow. And this little pom-pom is trying to be a leaf and it doesn't go there. I don't know where it goes anymore. It goes right there. Oh, I made it round almost. I didn't mean to. The more I mess with it, the more misshapen it becomes. Maybe I need to just stop. It's going to look like abstract art. It already does look rather disturbing. Do you know how he feels about that? <laughs> He's in distress. <laughs> he looks... When you turn his mouth upside down, he looks really worried. <laughs> okay, pretend you're happy. There you go. Oh, that's better. Okay, nice. So there we have it, our happy little pom-pom craft from Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. This again was from their Easter crafts collection. I bought it after Easter at a very reasonable price of approximately one dollar. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy getting to see this fun craft. I have another one that I bought that we will do another day and it's actually an Easter garland where you can decorate different parts of the garland. It's kind of like this. So we'll be doing that on another day. <laughs> that should be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you again really soon.